how to fix the issue where you can't install apps on your iPad. So if you're trying to open up the App Store and install a new app onto your iPad and it's not working, maybe you're getting some kind of error message or it's just not downloading in general, then I'm going to show you a couple of ways we can go and fix this issue. Now, the first thing you need to do is just go and load up the settings from the home screen. And once you're on this settings page here, from the left navigation, we're going to scroll down and click on general. You then need to scroll down on the right hand side and click on iPad storage and just ensure that you have adequate storage storage space to be installing new apps. Now this is fairly obvious, but if you're running out of storage space, this will be the reason why you can't install new apps. Now you can see at the top here, I have plenty of space, so this isn't an issue for me. So what you need to do now is come back over to the previous window and from the list of options, click on software update. Now this is another common reason that apps won't download on your device. So just make sure that you're running the latest version of iOS. If you do see any updates inside of here then go and update these now once you've updated this you can try re-downloading the apps and that should go and solve the issue if it's still not working we're just going to come back over to the settings page from the left hand side scroll all the way down to screen time and click on this you can then click on content and privacy restrictions and sometimes there may be some kind of restriction on your account that's preventing you from downloading apps so there's two things you can do you can either just turn off content and privacy restrictions altogether and this is by far the best method. If you want to leave this turned on, then you can click on iTunes and App Store purchases. Make sure installing apps at the top of this page, make sure it's set to allow. Make sure in-app purchases is also set to allow. And you also want to make sure deleting apps is set to allow. Now, once you've done this, you can try heading back over to the App Store and you can check to see if that solves the issue. Now, if it's still not working, there's one final solution. So over on the left-hand side, we're gonna scroll back up to general and click on this. You can then scroll down and click on date and time and make sure set automatically is turned on and enabled. If it's already turned on, then try turning this off and then you can toggle it back to on. And then once you've done that, you need to restart your iPad. Once your iPad's been restarted, you can head back over to the app store and that should have now solved your issue. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.